like twice a month now, I like to put uh, like a snack <clears throat> down in the common room of my apartment complex. The first one, I left a note, and it said, you know, Happy Halloween. It was on Halloween. It was, well, it was a little before, it was a, co a week before Halloween, a couple weeks maybe. And it said, you know, Happy Halloween, your friend 305. It didn't say anything other than that. I think I linked it to my Instagram account. And so, like, the guy, he was like, wow, it's really cool. I was like, did everybody get something? Did somebody, like, take the whole bag? Because that went quick. And he was like, oh, yeah, a lot of people came down here and got a big handful of them. So I did that again. <clears throat> I didn't leave a note because if there's candy down there, it's probably me. I also left some peanuts. So that's what I've been doing at my apartment complex. It's like, it's cold out in Spokane. <clears throat> um... Is like leaving a ten dollar bag of miniature candy in the uh, common area. I don't really leave a note anymore because if it's candy, you know it's me. You know, if it's some sort of like snack, somebody left like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches one day, so it was like a big burlap bag of them. So I grabbed like six of those and hauled them up to my apartment. Um, and that's what I ate for like two days, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The reason I do that is because you'll find out rather quickly by going to Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or Twitter that I'm an atheist. And I don't want people to presume that atheists are bad people. Oh, please, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of lazy ass atheists that believe shit like things are going to get better or things are going to get worse uh, with no evidence provided in blanket statements or just some pithy platitude or they're lazy as fuck like most Christians or just drug users or bigots like most Christians or dicks like most Christians there's plenty of atheists that are just horrible people but I want to put it out there that we're not all like that. In fact, most of us aren't. And uh, Christians, atheists, can indeed get along. And if we can't, it has something to do with, you know, maybe you're a good person, but you're not humble. And I'll point that out. Because I've, I've met plenty of, like, good Christians that are trying to do, like, independently their Christian duty. And then they'll get all mad because they didn't get what they wanted out of life. After doing their good deed. So they start uh, bitching and moaning. Or they start like talking about people's habits. Like, oh yeah, I give this chick some blankets, but she's a drug addict and blah, blah, blah. That Daniel Campbell guy that I got away from in Olympia was one of these dickheads who would... Uh, do his, what he thought his Christian duty, and had a lot of, like, language that had to do with religion, like, you're so blessed, and stuff like that, just, like, like, ego-stroking shit, and then, like, the next day, he would be an absolute turd to everybody in the vicinity, and, like, call them out for their shit. Like, I, I understand calling out people's behavior, but if you have to put a name to it, and that person didn't do anything to deserve it, like, they're suffering. I mean, even just, like, pointing out people's behavior and adding their name to it is junior high school mentality. Walter Fate needs to shut his fucking face. Uh, people who do military service are not automatically heroes. In fact, they're just stroke jobs to the corporations and cause the poor to get poorer. Most people, when they come back from war... And being in the military, talk about how it's all a bunch of bogus shit so the rich can get richer and the poor can get poorer. Nobody listens. But, you know, uh, former military people like my mom and stepdad have been, like, talking shit about the corporate greed of this country since the 70s. And they were both in the military. And there's plenty of people since, like, the hippie era that have come back and, like, talk shit about the corporate greed causing Vietnam. 
And it's like nobody listens. So it's like that's why I'm for the Bernie Sanders and wouldn't mind Yang and, and Warren in there. So there, I, I figured that there's like a lot of misunderstanding about atheism. It's not like I'm out there trying to hate Christians. Because I've met plenty of asshole Satanists. And I've met most Christians that I've met have been dicks. So, like me, shutting my mouth up about people and focusing more on issues and behaviors is kind of what I think more people ought to do, no matter what you think about life. So if there's candy down there and you see this, it's me. I'm just doing it to be a good neighbor. The good book says, love thy enemy, love thy neighbor. And I don't see a lot of Christians doing that at all. The typical Christian, no matter what any Christian says, is a fucking asshole. And you don't really find that with atheists. I mean, a lot of people will like find out you're an atheist and they'll presume you're Satan. Which is like the most naive, stupid Thing I've ever heard in my life. If you've ever met atheists, they're usually the quiet, nice, funny people or the people that you chastise without knowing them kind of people or people that just don't really tolerate bullshit but will kind of like let you get away with your shit. People that like shut their mouths a lot when religious speak is going on are atheists. <clears throat> And most agnostics are atheists. They're just cowards. Um, I don't understand why. It's 2019. Uh, my thing is, is, if you're a bad person, you're a bad person. If you're a good person, you're a good person. It doesn't matter what you... Rose-colored glasses or emo way you look at life. If you're a good person, you're a good person. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. And I think Obama had that speech about religion and non-religion, how we have to come together over like some things. Of course, it was just him about him, and we fell for the hope. But, you know, name a president who wasn't a warmongering asshole. Even Bernie Sanders approved uh, Trump's war budget, so I don't know. You know, I like Bernie, but at the same time, There's talk of diplomacy with other nations, and then there's diplomacy. So, you know, good people are good people, bad people are bad people. And I'm not going to sit around and talk about how I'm a bad person, even if it potentially could get me laid. Because I'm not going to do that. I'm what you call an empath with very strong boundaries. Because being an empath is... When you're in a negative, uh, bigoted environment, you will tend to pick up some bad behaviors. And uh, as an empath, absorbing the negativity or positivity of those around you is pretty much a given. So if you're out there like picking up the energy of other people, you're an empath. Even if you're not out there like giving your uh, money to the homeless or whatever, you're still an empath. And a lot of people don't like empaths other than narcissists. And I'm somebody that says, you're a narcissist, I'm an empath. Fuck you. So, you know, I put things out there in order to, if you find out about me, to let you know atheists are not bad people. There are shitty people all around, but I'm not trying to be a bad person. Trust me, I've met plenty of atheists who are bad people. 